Hello and welcome to the Open SAP course, How to Deliver a Great User Experience with SAP S4 HANA, Week 3, Unit 1. Currently available tools and the future outlook for the intelligent experience. ABC Corporation would like to become the thought leaders in the industry by using the intelligent technologies provided by SAP. In this overview unit, we will take a look at how they discover the tools that SAP offers for the intelligent experience. They will look at what is available as of today to be leveraged and also at some of the planned innovations. In the subsequent units of this week, we will look at the intelligent tools that are already available in a bit more detail. We will start with Charlie and Uma running into each other in the break room. Both of them are looking to have a cup of their favorite afternoon pick up coffee. Charlie is interested in the intelligent experience topic. Let's join them and see what happens next. Hi Charlie, how are you today? Good Uma, thanks. Hope you are the same. You have given me some great insight into the user experience topic for SAP S4 HANA. I have also been hearing about intelligent experience. I was wondering if you can tell me more about this. I'm good too, thanks. I am glad you asked about this topic. Intelligent experience is something that will offer great benefits for ABC Corporation. Let me fill up my coffee and I would be delighted to tell you all about it. Let's first go over three tools that are available today and can be used right now. Conversational AI, which is SAP's digital assistant for the intelligent enterprise. Machine learning that identifies hidden patterns in knowledge intensive processes and learns from the data without being explicitly programmed. And robotic process automation, which helps run repetitive rule-based and user interface focused tasks and brings temporary gaps. Now let's investigate each of these a little more detail. Let's start with conversational AI. Everyone with a mobile device can access it now. It is in use for driving, shopping, listening to music, or even helping around the house by making sure the doors are locked and the lights are off. SAP's conversational AI brings the power and simplicity of a digital assistant to business applications for an enhanced user experience. Machine learning enables computers to learn from large amounts of data without being explicitly programmed. The machine, in fact, is learning through a tested and proven process and preparing data for training, developing a model to train, applying the model to the data, and then refining the model. The model has been applied to business applications already to solve problems and perform repetitive work, such as the SAP Fiori Cache applications. Robotic process automation all allows automatic replication of tenuous actions. This allows people to focus on more productive tasks. There are two types of robotic process automation. The first is attended mode, where the process is only partially automated. The robots are co-working with the user. We refer to this as robotic desktop automation. The second type is unattended mode, and which, with this the process is fully automated. The robots are working anonymously with only human supervision. These available solutions are really going to be valuable for planning the next phase of our transformation. Could you also give me an insight into any planned innovations from SAP? Yes, I can and get ready to be amazed. There are a lot of planned innovations which are going to have a significant impact on the way ABC Corporation does business and on the future of user experience. Let me give you a brief overview of some of these like sketch interaction, ambient user experience, augmented or virtual reality, and 3D visualization, gaze interaction, brain-computer interaction, and heat maps. Most people are very comfortable using a pen for capturing information. With sketch indication, end users will interact by using a special pen. This allows ease of information capture and a convenient means for an alternative user experience. 
we will really be able to take ABC Corporation to the next level with augmented or virtual reality enhanced with 3D visualization. The business user will be able to interact and be placed virtually in scenarios and business processes that will feel like being there in a real-world setting. This, for example, increases the flexibility and decreases issue resolution time and generally also saving money and time. With gaze interaction by following eye movements and the amount of time a person looks on an object, the system will know what you are focused on and the topics that you find relevant. From having this intelligence, it will expand those areas on the screen. You can think of it as touch-free interaction by just using your eyes. Now get ready for a user experience that might seem like science fiction, but is already in the works and being moving beyond just being a concept. This is brain-computer interaction. Through the thoughts, thinking and mental commands, we will be able to give instructions to the computer. Just by thinking what we want, the system will know and react to it. No typing, writing, speaking or anything else. Just think it and it makes it happen. I can see you like where this is going, Charlie, and all the potential this will have for ABC Corporation. Finally, I wanted to let you know about heat maps. This combines two of the concepts we already covered, gaze interaction and brain-computer interaction. This application will understand where you look and what is important to you and therefore react to your focus in real time. From here, it will adapt and adjust dashboards and analytical views based on where the user gazes and how they view things. Another possibility is that the application will detect your reaction to what you are viewing. This will allow data scientists and strategists to see exactly what people view when they create reports and allow them to build automated report using machine learning. Wow, Uma, the future is bright. Is this why you put on your sunglasses, Charlie? From the conversation between Charlie and Uma, we have learned the following. There are a number of tools companies can use today for an intelligent enterprise, such as conversational AI, machine learning, and robotic process automation. Please note that we will look at these topics in a bit more detail in other units this week. SAP is developing more tools, such as sketch interaction, augmented or virtual reality, and 3D visualization, gaze interaction, brain-computer interaction and heat maps. Thanks for listening and see you in the next unit.